Mind Map 2.0 for Google Drive is one of the simplest mind mapping tools you can add to your computer. It will help in numerous ways to organize ideas visually. Getting to Mind Map is easy. Just go to drive.mindmap.com. If you are logged on to Google by opening a new map, by creating a new map, this will automatically place that mind map file into your Google Drive. As I add myself into uh, open this account, it may require me to sign in, and there I will do it. Adding files, adding ideas to mind map, mind map is easy. The middle node, the, the main topic, can be edited simply by double clicking. Since it's blue, you have to look a little carefully to see that it's highlighted. My main idea. There's lots of ways to add subtopics. One is the little button over here. Insert child node. In K-8 to organizations or, or schools that are 9 to 12, you might call this main topic and subtopic. My main idea, Spanish. But Mind Map is so fluid that it allows you to add ideas easier. By hitting enter and enter again, I can add another node at the same level as Spanish. Social studies. If I, what am I studying in social studies? I can either hit a new child node to, set, to uh, add topics like uh, Revolutionary War, pardon my spelling, or and I can also simply hit the tab key for even more fluid visual thinking. Perfect. Rhetoric. Now, sometimes it's nice to key into the different ideas visually, so I'll use these coloring nodes the color change tool up here to uh, to put it into colors that I can more easily remember. That's the idea in Mind Map: adding main ideas, subtopics, and details is as easy as using the tools over here or by hitting the tab key. And as we mentioned, you can also use the the shortcuts, which are. which are tab and, and enter return. That is a brief intro on MindMup and let your visual thinking run wild.